this episode of Inside the Blueprint. There's risk involved in running any business today, but an unexpected fire could be a catastrophic risk that might mean the end of your business. Many times businesses don't recover from a fire. There is $155 million a year in losses in storage facility fires alone. There is three times the damage in a non-sprinkler facility compared to a sprinkler facility. Um, so having a sprinkler facility is safer for us, safer for everybody, and minimizes your losses. Many businesses will ask why. Why do I need this? I've never had a problem before. And I just usually tell them they've been lucky. That's why constant innovation is needed in the field of fire suppression, including sprinklers specifically designed to meet the hazard classification of the building they protect. We're at the Johnson Controls uh, Fire Products Training Center. And uh, what we do here is we do water-based fire protection training. We have 16 functional sprinkler risers. We have a spray demonstration room. We have fire pumps. We have uh, special hazards rooms. So anything in the fire protection world, we can really train on here. As the world changes, we need to change. So the innovation side of it, we need to keep up with. We need to keep pushing forward and creating new products to help protect these businesses and these large buildings going up. With over 125 years of innovation in fire suppression, Johnson Controls has a long history in testing and proving its Tyco sprinkler solutions in the field. Solutions which have made it a global leader in sprinkler products. So we invented the modern sprinkler many years ago. Our brand has a deep history. A notable fire sprinkler pioneer, Frederick Grinnell, invented the modern sprinkler in 1881. At Johnson Controls, our fire suppression business is committed to leading innovation in our industry. And we are passionate about what we do because we know it matters. Today, Johnson Controls Research and Development Center, where modern day fire sprinkler products are invented, sits on a site where fire suppression technological advancements have been developed for the past 100 years. So if you think about a sprinkler, it's a pretty amazing device, right? This thing has to be installed in a building for a pretty significant period of time, it could be 20, maybe up to 50 years in all different kinds of environments. So to make sure that a sprinkler is gonna perform in all those different applications, we subject them to a, a large number of different types of tests. These can range from hydrostatic integrity to the strength of the actual frame of the sprinkler to uh, flow distribution or spray distribution, which is actually a test of the spray pattern of the sprinkler for a different application. Can also incorporate multiple full-scale fire tests depending on whatever the hazard we're trying to protect is. And what's the latest innovation in fire suppression to come to market from Tyco? the new electronically activated sprinkler system that offers sprinkler heads with sensors to identify the source of where a fire has started. Hi, I'm Andy Silva. I'm the chief engineer for Johnson Controls Fire Protection Products Group. I'm here in our test area F, where we're about to test Johnson Controls electronically activated sprinkler. The test simulates a warehouse arrangement. We've got about eight boxes behind me. We're gonna light the boxes up to challenge the sprinkler to see if it can put out the fire. It's gonna be a pretty exciting test, so here we go. So we need to conduct fire testing to prove out that sprinklers can adequately address the fires. We ignite the boxes at the base of the fire, basically to simulate an arson event in a warehouse, which can be very challenging to try to control. When the sprinkler reaches the activation point, the sprinkler will operate and discharge water. The goal is to determine whether or not the sprinkler, when it activates, can actually suppress the fire. Fire sprinklers have to respond faster and more intelligently in order to provide the most cost-effective and efficient fire protection solution. The, the important thing about electronic sprinklers is that they operate much quicker and we can operate a group of sprinklers surrounding the point of ignition much earlier. That allows us to address fires when they're much smaller. Smaller fires produce less smoke and less damage to buildings and their contents and are much easier to manage with less water. In other words, only the sprinklers necessary to address the fire activity. The electronic sprinkler is really revolutionary because it's the first time in the industry that we're applying electronic detection to the fire problem. Previous to now, it's always been a mechanical detection. 
What this allows is much faster detection, which allows for faster water on the fire. That's a huge deal and something we're really excited to bring to market. Over uh, the next several years, uh, we're going to invest in excess of $5 million uh, to improve and enhance our capabilities. Uh, and in the end, we're working on something that uh, saves people's lives. This new innovative way to suppress fires has drastically reduced water demand and increased speed in responding to a fire. And that can mean a business can continue to thrive. Thanks to a company with over a century of dedication to innovation, to learn more about Tyco Fire Sprinklers, go to their website, tyco-fire.com forward slash inside the blueprint, or go to insidetheblueprint.com to see this portion of the show again.